hello welcome to my channel and anybody that's new welcome so today we are going to do a christmas in july um i've asked a lot i've had a lot of um crafters ask me if i could make some jenga block minis like i did with the ladybug and the frog so i did decide to do uh, the christmas to july and do the penguin and a snowman now i did do a snowman on a bigger scale um you can find that in my video list that I did last fall. We are gonna be using the tumbling tower blocks from Dollar Tree, AKA Jenga blocks. They are found in the toy section. If you don't find them in your store, you can ask the manager and associate there. Uh, sometimes they can give you a heads up when they get them ordered. You can also order them at dollartree.com for all my American friends. Um, I heard that you can order them and get them shipped to your store for free. Now, I live in Canada and we can't do any online ordering, but for those of you in the U.S., you can try that. Whoops. We're going to be using Wellbond. Um, this is my preferred glue that I use for all my Jenga block builds. Uh, the drying time is about 24 hours. I usually find after a couple hours that, um... You can play around with them and start doing stuff, but I would let them dry for a good couple hours before you start playing around, just making sure they're all even. When we are using, um, when I use the blocks, I like to use the L-shape rule, L-shape ruler, AKA um, carpenter ruler. It is found in DT in the hardware section. It's just to keep your blocks nice and straight. And when you're gluing them, you can move them up like that. I do pre-glue my stuff prior to the video, so my video is not long. Now, in my video, I've started this a few videos ago. Um, because I do change the layers, I guess, rows of blocks to flat or stacked. Flat means that they're just glued together flat down like this. And when I mean stacked... It just means it's the parts, wider parts like that. So I call them stacked and this is flat. I do suggest getting a pen and paper, writing down the rows. I have a little scribble note so I know what I'm talking about <laughs> when I'm filming. And it just keeps uh, it just keeps you to remember what um, what row and usually putting, I usually put an F or um, F for flat and S for stack, just so it's for my reference. So we're gonna start with the head and we're gonna start with three flat. Next row is four flat. And you're just gonna center it like that. You the next row is eight stacked. Another row of eight stacked. And a row of four flat. And that will be the part for the head. I'm gonna call the next part the neck. It's gonna be six and it's stacked. We're gonna move on to the body. And there'll be nine rows. And this is eight stacked. five flat, 10 stacked, oh, I have a piece stuck here, uh, 11 stacked, 12 stacked, six flat, 11 stacked, five flat, and four flat. And then we are just gonna glue them all together and let them dry. And I did wanna mention, I totally forgot, um, Nikki, one of fellow crafter, she says you can buy the well bond at Hobby Lobby. I did buy mine at Rose slash Rona. Um, I know a lot of crafters use the Dollar Tree wood glue. Never seen it in my store, but I heard that works well. I wouldn't use any hot glue because the blocks won't seal properly 
and depending on the temperatures, whether it's too cold or too hot, they can fall apart. Now that it's all dry and I left it about, I guess it's been about four hours since I let it dry and it's pretty solid, but it does take time for it to fully, uh, I guess the glue to fully dry, but um, it's good to go now. Dollar Tree sells these uh, coarse emery boards in the nail section, beauty section. And you just wanna take a board or a file or a buffer, and I just wanna take the edges off the little corners. Just on the side, if you've watched any of my other videos, um, so we're gonna do something to it. Now, if you, you can still do this. The next step we're gonna do, I've, um, I've come up with, I've tried different things. If you guys follow me for a while, I've tried the paper mache, just to change the look a little bit more of the blocks, just to look uh, more, I guess, more realistic, so to speak. Um, I'm gonna use Spackle. I got this at Rona. It's about, I think, four something for a container like this. I've used already, you can see some uh, for other projects I've done, and I find it works really well, better than clay. Uh, I've also seen crafters use it for, um, like those desserts, cakes and stuff like that. And DT sells it, mine doesn't, but it's pink right now, but it does turn white and it's just so easy to use. And with, as you know, if you've worked with blocks before, and you don't have to do this step, this is just um, something that I like to do with my crafts, is you just, I have a knife, they do sell, DT does sell um, like putty knives, something like this as well you can use that I just like using this old knife that I have and it just fills in nicely once you paint it it just fills in little imperfections you will see in the blocks and it just it works really well unless you're use, gonna use stain I wouldn't suggest stain but obviously we're, we're doing the penguin now the total blocks I forgot to mention when we were going through comes to 105 blocks and you're just going to go through along the front. So this just fills in the little gaps that you will see here. I'm, I'm going to continue the, that rest off the camera. Now, we're not going to do in here. But what I like to do to make the sides a little bit more round. And I'm going to do one here. Hold on. I'm just going to pick a side right here. And you're just going to fill in the sides. So where this little steps is on it. Sorry, I'm not. I'm going to fix it a little bit better off camera, but. Now it's not properly set, but what happens is it just gives it more of a rounder look. So let me. I don't have a little paper here. Let me just use the paper towel. So for example, once you put the, the spackle in, it will just fill in little holes as you go down and just making it even with the block on top, that'll give it a nice cleaner uh, look to it and gives it a more rounder look. There we go. And then you just let it dry. And usually with the spackle, I do like to leave it overnight. The front part, if you were just filling the front part, it only takes less than an hour. But just because it's a thicker part of the spackle, I do let them dry overnight. So I let it dry overnight. And you can see it's just kind of really cakey. It looks horrible. <laughs> um, but you have to take, I use a buffing block. Don't mind my boo-boos. Um, uh, sanding block. This one is just actually from, um, oh, as I let it dry overnight, this is what it looks like when it's done. It's not very smooth and that's okay because we are going to use, this one's just from the automotive section at DT. This is from the crafting section. This is from the nail and beauty. And same with this one. Um, and you can see right there, but the best thing about the spackle is that it just easily, you can just file it. 
super nicely. I don't have any other color band-aids. I only have brown band-aids. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, and you just keep sanding it all the way around. I'm gonna do the rest off camera. Now, I would find that on my last project, it got a little dusty in my crafting area. So I just use like one of these tray boxes that you can get at the supermarket and I just go outside and do it on my step. It's less mess in your house. And also too, you're in a more of an open with all the little dust flying around. So it's just a lot easier to do that outside. Now that I got it all filed, as you can see, it is nice and smooth. I am going to use some Mod Podge, the mats, uh, the matte one, not the gouache. You can get these at DT. And I'm just gonna give it one coat all the way around. It does seal fast. Um, I just find that with the blocks and sometimes with the um, spackle, it really absorbs the color. So putting the sealer will be less coats of paint that you'll need to do. Now that we have the Mod Podge on, I am going to do a couple coats of the white to make sure that I don't see the blocks, um, that the blocks are not visible. So I'm going to count how many uh, layers of white paint I'm going to do, and then we'll add the black around it after. All right, so I did five uh, coats of white. I've been drawing. I'm not the best drawer. And I'm just trying to draw an outline how I want to do. So I want to keep this middle part white and I want to do the outline here, black, as well as the sides, top and behind. Now I did do a little um, pencil mark when I was moving my pencil on there. So I'm just going to touch it up with white. So we'll, that will be the next step is painting that all black except the white part in here. Now that I finished painting it, we are gonna add some uh, feet. I just took some foam board. I've, I've had this in my stash. I don't even know where it's from. I'm not sure which dollar store it's from. I just decided to cut some feet out. Um, this is what I got. Two little feet and the side's a little bit um, rough than the bottom part where you can see it was tracing out with a pencil and I'm just going to keep the rough part out. I'm just going to hot glue them on right here and if you have little boo-boos here or anything like that you can just hide those with the feet just like that. I just took a corner of here and we're just gonna make the beak slash nose. Now I have uh, just a big bag of um, buttons. I was going to use some buttons and then I found little, just, I don't even know what, these are not buttons cause you can't sew them on. It just came in the big bag that I had. I just spray painted them black. Just a super cute, shiny look to them. I'm gonna put them on there just like that. Now, if you don't have those, um, you could also use the pearls and paint them black. I usually use spray paint when I do the pearls. I just find that when you paint them on that the paint doesn't go on smoothly. I just would uh, spray paint them. You can use buttons. Um, you can use googly eyes. I just thought I was just gonna pass up on googly eyes on uh, this project. I'm gonna get these glued on and then we're just gonna make his little, um, um, his little arms. So now that we got this little guy done, he looks so good. Um, I wanna make a hat and a scarf. So from Dollar Tree, I just have this men fleece scarf. I haven't taken out all my um, winter stuff from last year, my crafting supplies. So this was just in my material. Uh, I cut here seven by 12 and seven inches by 12 inches. I'm just gonna flip it over just like that. I think just a little bit more. I'm gonna do it all the way. Cause if not, I'd rather have bigger than smaller. Do it like that. 
I'm just going to cut on an angle straight across. If you notice, I got no nails. I broke them all off on purpose. Um, then we're just going to open it up just right there. We're just going to stick some hot glue all the way down. I'm just going to give that a minute to dry. Okay, I just gave it a couple minutes just to make sure. And then we're just going to flip it inside out. So then you don't see the seam. I'm just going to use a pencil to uh, get the top little corner without breaking it through. like that it needs to come out a little bit more and then it should just <laughs> uh, um, and then just flop it over to the side I'm just gonna try to get it a little bit down a little bit more just like that. I'm gonna put a little pom pom. I don't know, the little, I think the little one will be good. Then you're gonna cut 14 inches long by one inch. And then we're just gonna wrap it around his, his neck. Got a little glue. Let me just put this on and I'll turn the camera around. All right guys, so here he is. I just think he turned out super sweet. Uh, on the side, just because of the hat was sticking out more, I just put a dab of hot glue just to keep it down on the side. Let me change the view and we will start with the mini snowman. All right, now we're gonna start with the snowman. It's gonna be a similar build, it's gonna be 70, our 105 blocks just like the penguin we're going to start with the head the only difference in the body is going to be the blocks are going to be different than the stacks and flat let's start with the head so we're going to do three flat four flat we're just going to center them all the way down the next layer is eight stacked Next layer, eight stacked, four flat, and that's the head. Next part is the neck, and it's gonna be six stacked. Now onto the body, nine stacked, 10 stacked, 11 stacked, 12 stacked, and then we're going to go back to 11 stacked, 10 stacked, 5 flat, and 4 flat. And we're just going to glue that all together make sure it's centered and in and centered all the way down as well. Now that I left it, uh, it's been about five hours, so it's pretty, uh, pretty dry. It does take a while, so just um, make sure that you pay attention to the glue that you're using just for drying time. Um, so I'm going to do the exact same thing. Now, you don't have to, but I'm just going to use the spackle like I did with the penguin and just go. I'm not going to fill in this part here but I am just gonna do the little sides here and here all the way down. All right, now that I have it all sanded and buffed, just like I did with the um, penguin, you can see where it's more white and that just means that the um, blocks were more uneven in certain spots than other once I use the, the files and the buffers to sand it down. 
We are gonna do a couple coats of white on the snowman. So I only did uh, two coats on this just because of the white from the blocks. Now, unlike the penguin, I did seal it with the matte Mod Podge. The only reason why I didn't seal it is because we're gonna seal it now. So I'm gonna use uh, some fake snow. It was in my stash. Uh, similar to the one I did last year, but it was a lot bigger. Like I said, these ones are the minis. And I am just going to use the gloss Mod Podge. Mod Podge. I always say it funny. Um, and I suggest, I use this for um, actually painting too. When I have to do a couple coats or anything, these are just the little condiment um, cups with the little lids you can get at DT. And I just find when you're painting something and you have to do a couple coats and you don't want to keep washing out your container and just sealing it works really great and they do last for a couple days in there and we're just gonna put some Mod Podge on like this I'm gonna do a quick one here and so we'll take also the in per little perfections that uh, that you might have missed. And you don't have to do the spackle. I just, it's one of my new things this year, I guess, that, uh, that I can manipulate a design with the spackle, then making it look square and without cutting out the blocks. So I will let that sit, dust it off, and I'm gonna give the whole um, snowman a coat of that. So I didn't put any of the faux snow on the head because we're gonna add a hat, and I just didn't decide which one we were gonna do. Um, you'll notice too, the snow will flake off. I used, um, I have this Mod, Mod Podge spray. It's just a clear sealer, just like the one in the, um, the container that I showed you earlier. It's not, oh, it's right here. Just like this one from DT. But this is the spray and it's just a lot better to keep the the snow from coming off just because you can't really paint over because you get a lot of the, after it's dried on, a lot of the, the snow will fall off. If you're careful enough, nobody's gonna touch it, then um, I would just leave it. You don't have to put the acrylic spray on it. Now, I'm gonna do some button eyes. I just dug through some buttons that I had and when I'm just going to use hot glue to glue them on and press them down firm just because it is going down on the snow. For the nose I did have a carrot from last year at Easter. I just cut it a lot shorter and I'm just going to put it like that. I had little buttons but they were different colors so I just put them on tape, taped it on a board, went outside and spray painted them. I'm just going to hot glue those on in a proper way. Um, just want to make sure you have enough for the neck here. We are going to add a scarf to it. So we just want to make sure that we have the, the eyes not too close to the top to add the hat. Then we're just going to do the three buttons here. Uh, right in the center and hot glue those on. Next thing we're gonna do is add a scarf. Now I just had some material left in my material crate which are just um, it's just the DT winter scarfs. I think it was the men's winter scarfs that I have. It's fleece. I'm gonna wrap it around. I want this side to be a little bit longer. It's easier doing standing up, but I just want to show you that way. I'm going to get, I'm going to tie it. I'm not even going to tie it. <clears throat> I'm trying to make the left side, the side longer. And when I tie it here, I'm going to use some DT floral wire. And I'm gonna put a bell on it. And the red one just blends in too much and I don't have a silver one on hand. I don't have all my winter uh, crafts unpacked yet. But I am just going to wrap it around there from the bottom. 
I don't want to stick my head under the camera, guys. Just wrap it and have the bell hanging to the side. Next thing we are going to do is we're going to add a hat. Now, I did play around with some blocks because I did uh, a bigger version of the um, Django Block Snowman last year. He was a lot bigger than this. I think almost twice the height. Uh, I did make a Django Block hat from him. I just was playing around with the blocks and I want something that goes over over his head a little bit more. Um, and then I found the hat was too big, so we're just gonna make one. Now, I just used a piece of um, Dollar Tree. They come in one, they're the thicker felt. They come in one piece, one sheet, if you wanna call it. Or there is the thin one from DT, the rolled up one. I just find it's too uh, thin and flimsy. Now, for the top, I just took, um, the top of a candle. I'll actually show you it, but I found it a little bit too big. So I did cut it around um, and down. When you're cutting on black felt, you can buy one of these DT pens. Um, it's just a chalk writer. And as you go around, it just traces nicely where you can see on there. So I did a little bit bigger, it was just too big, so I did make it smaller. So I did cut two already. And I'm just gonna grab two of these and I'm just gonna hot glue. Ooh, I gotta load my gun. Uh, I'm gonna glue one right on to the other. Just make a thicker base. I'm gonna try to get to the corners, but not where it's spilling out. And I'm just gonna let this dry. I'm just gonna show you something. So uh, when I glued the top part, I was just putting it center when it was upright. And when I put it on, I just laughed. It reminded me kind of one of those little French hats. <laughs> um, hold on, I just gonna move this other way. So now that we have that piece stuck together, and usually with the chalk, if you put the chalk on the inside and just go around, cut around to make sure that you have it um, all even and nice and slint centered on your top of the snowman. Then we're just gonna grab one piece and I'm just gonna wrap it. I wanna do more more oval if that makes sense. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna see here, is that where I want it? I think I just want it a little bit smaller. I could cut the piece there. But I think that's where I want it. I'm just gonna hot glue the end on. Oh my, I go through so many glue guns. I don't know why it's not working, let me see. So instead of doing it totally round, I'm just gonna do it a little bit oval, <clears throat> just like that. And I'm just gonna glue it on in the center. Now that I have it glued on, if you made my Jenga Block um, Highland Cow and you use the fur from Dollar Tree from the teddy bears to, for the skin, you should have a bunch of little stuffing left. And we're just gonna stick a little bit in there. Now, if you don't have that, if you ha don't have stuffing, you can put like a little, um, just a small piece of, um, um, paper towel, something like that, just so it doesn't collapse. That's why I didn't cut it um, to to do exactly a circle that I went around, just so it gives it a little bit of extra hold on the side. Then you're just gonna grab another little circle, and you can always play with some paper first before if you only have the one sheet of the, and I think I did it a little bit too big. But that's okay, I always can trim it off after. And I'm just gonna put some hot glue around here and another, I'm gonna more the oval way like this and I probably can just trim it off right once it's glued. Now that I have it glued on, I'm getting all these little dusties all over. Um, I left it a little bit bigger around the side cause I just thought it looked like an old hat when you look at it from the side. Just gonna grab some thin uh, DT ribbon Gonna hot glue it around, just like that. And I just found a little bag of greens. Not all my stuff, like I said earlier, all my Christmas stuff is still packed in boxes, so I gotta swap out some stuff 
from my big bins that I have to put Christmas stuff out. I just put, found a little bit of greens. They almost look like uh, little snowballs. And I'm just going to attach it right here on the side just to give it a little something something. Uh, the little red bell looked good, but I already have a bell on them. Uh, where do I have the bell? No, I don't have the bell here. Disappeared in my big mess on the side. So I'm going to do that. Get that, and we're going to do one more thing once that's done. So we're going to add a couple arms on there and just some sticks, twigs. Dollar Tree had these last year, the twig bundles. They came some with just some glitter on it, and then some of them came with some, I guess, some frosting of the white snow, I guess it's supposed to look like. I just grabbed two of the sticks, and I'm just going to take the bigger part first. I'm not going to make them very long so they're not sticking out. Oh, it's stuck to my thing. Now, I just used the Dollar Tree, or the, the men's scarf. And I'm just going to, I think that one has to be cut a little bit more. And all we're going to do is just make sure the thumbs are on the inside and just have them out like this. Like someone put mitts on the little sticks. I'm going to do the other one. I'm going to turn the camera around and show you both the penguin and the snowman. All right guys, so he is done and I put the penguin right beside him so you can see he's a little bit taller because of the hat. Um, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Happy crafting and see you guys soon. Bye.